on uh, the presenter gave me a call and asked if I was interested in doing this show. Um, I was recommended by Ken Romero, who's the jeweler that's doing all the jewelry here. He asked me um, if I would be interested in, in creating some pieces and doing a show with Ken. With Ken. Uh, I was highly recommended. And uh, so I said, uh, yeah, give it a shot. So I started painting and, uh, you know, made, did about uh, maybe 40, 50 pieces for this show plus uh, the Indian market. got me to uh, concentrate on, on the art and creating and getting new ideas uh, going and, and doing something that I had wanted to do for a long time, but this gave me the motivation to start it. Being inspired by, uh, you know, growing up in Hamas and just uh, growing up in the traditional lifestyle um, brought me all these designs, you know, and, and uh, a lot of them were my own interpretations of, of certain things, but uh, they still based on traditional designs. Uh, the colors I use are very bright, uh, which is not really as traditional, but the symbolism is. So, but you know, uh, there's also a lot of other influences that that uh, have affected my artwork, uh, mainly traveling. You know, being exposed to different cultures and different. Uh, works of art, seeing the masters, and, and just uh, doing my own thing after that. I said before doing the show uh, inspired me to uh, get the creative creative juices going again and and uh, come up with different designs different uh, different colors to use and it's just really inspired me you know so um, and kind of forced me to to pull that uh, creativity out so it's it's been a good experience for me Actually, not here, but uh, uh, I have two favorite pieces. Uh, uh, I'll be have I'll have them at the Santa Fe Indian Market, but uh, uh, so if you get a chance, come on by and see it. <laughs>